We're here at the Arlington Theater for the Santa Barbara International Film Festival, where they're honoring Kate Blanchett for Outstanding Performer of the Year for the second time. You are watching DP News, and it starts now. And it starts now. It starts now. Do you think you could tell us a little bit about the documentary you created? Uh, yeah, the film is called 26.2 to Life. It is about a marathon inside San Quentin State Prison, and it explores the transformative power of the 1,000 Mile Running Club, which is a running club where veteran marathoners come into the prison from the outside throughout the year, and they train with incarcerated runners. What inspired you to create this film? <laughs> Good question, because when, when I was a 13-year-old kid, I watched a TV movie about Karen's life, and my, my fellow red carpet goers here tonight helped to make that happen, and Cynthia Gibb here was the actress who played Karen in that TV movie, and Barry Morrow is the screenwriter who brought that um, to life for us. So me getting to watch that as a kid, becoming a fan. I ended up writing a book about Karen and doing a lot of research over the years. And More than one book. <laughs> it's, it's all come together now at, into this documentary. So this is the latest phase of it, I guess. I actually was pretty intimidated by portraying such an iconic character and successful singer. And, and her story was so layered as Randy says, and um, I mean, it was delving into not just her family life, but it, this epic career, and then a disease, of course, that can be deadly and very um, insidious. And um, so it, it felt like a huge, huge undertaking. Could you tell us a little bit about your film? So my film is uh, Ibiza Blue. Uh, I come from Spain, uh, Barcelona, and we shot this film in Ibiza. It's a romantic drama that talks about friendship, love, and grief also, of uh, people we've lost too soon. And what inspired you to create this film? Well, it inspired me during the pandemic. I wanted to talk about, uh, I wanted to make, a, yeah, I wanted to make a film that talks about friendship, love, and, and also, even though we were living in those uh, horrible circumstances that we were losing people uh, too soon because of uh, the COVID or illnesses or whatever, uh, I wanted to to put some light in the in that uh, in those horrible circumstances. So even if if, uh, if they were bad times, there's always a positive side. Was there a specific life moment or experience in your life that inspired you to create your documentary? Yes, for me, it was during uh, Black Lives Matter. That's really when the inspiration came. As a creative person, I wanted to really express what I felt at that moment. And this documentary came to be because of that. It was really a way of giving back to a community and as a way of expressing myself through arts. What opportunities did you take? Did any of you take advantage of as students that got you where you are today? I'm a mechanical engineer by trade, which I think a lot of the skills I learned in that world carried over to be a producer. But uh, in that world, at least, I, my undergraduate degree, I had to actually get five internships before I graduated, or I wouldn't graduate at all. And so that, I think, I took really a lot of advantage of that. I actually postponed my graduation date by two years so I can take more internships. And I think that really helped me to, you know, find out what I want to do, um, try it in practice, and kind of compare practical, you know, job experience with classroom education and really, you know, kind of get me ready for the full-time job after I graduated. We're here with Dos Pueblos High School, Hi. and you're seeing DP News, our student-run high school publication. Could you tell us a bit about, um, since you're such a versatile actress, how do you train yourself for all these different types of roles, and how could others follow your footsteps? I don't know. I mean, everybody finds their own way, so I'm, I'm sort of always loath to give advice, but with a role where you have to play a conductor who's working in Germany, who's a pianist and she's a, a composer, you have to learn to do all of those things so that the audience believes that you are who you say you are so they can immerse themselves in the story. So all of that preparation for me was really fun. I learned piano as a child and you know I kept saying I was, was going to pick it up so it was a great excuse to do that and um, that's part of the joy of it is, is 
you know, learning these skills or relearning those skills that you sort of maybe wouldn't push yourself to do otherwise. What an amazing night for the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. We interviewed some of the biggest names in film, including Kate Blanchett. I'm Awan Hodge for DP News.